Hey, I'm back. I um, accidentally, I put my cheat sheet on top of the rice papers. So I'm going to add this in and I'll be back later with those other um, reveals that I talked about. So let's look at the rice papers. So this comes as a set of six or you can buy each one of the first four as individual sheets. So here is sheet one, which is called clock, which makes sense. Wow. Oh, she put paper between them. That's I like it feels so thick, but there's just paper separating them. So there's the clock. You can buy that as an individual sheet. This is called floral border. Let me put it on top of that so you can see it better. Floral border, also available as individual. Sheet number three, which is the cards, also available as an individual. And then the last individual, number four, is called Doves. And then the last two are only available if you buy the complete pack. This is really pretty. I think I like it better as rice paper than the scrapbook. So here is the package of six, so you get everything I just showed you. As far as buying individual, you can get the clock, the border, the cards, or the doves. Okay, and these are all available in the shop right now. Back soon. Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm gonna share with you the Stamperia Romantic Collection that was recently released and is now in stock. Um, the collection is called Romance Forever. This is the 12 by 12 double-faced sheets. It comes with the core designs, it does not have a background. The romance collections don't carry a background. Okay, lots of cut aparts here. Or you could use the sheet as is. Beautiful sheet. I like that they aren't just doing a, a clock face, that they're making it um, a little bit more decorative. I think it makes it a little bit more flexible to use uh, in your mini albums. This is gorgeous. This is a really pretty color. This is pretty much, I would say, um, a wedding collection and you'll see that as we pass through like the doves okay some cut aparts this lavender is really pretty too nice styled cut aparts that um, sometimes they make them a little too too complicated this is going to be a little bit difficult to cut out but the rest are pretty simple and the backs look really pretty too okay We've got the cards, the cut apart cards. I like to use those as design features in my albums. We've got journaling space on the back. Sorry, I don't have quite enough real estate on my desk. This is pretty. This is a pattern I've seen them uh, release over and over again in different colors and I always like it. And there's our clocks. So you could do some interesting things with that. I like it when they add the circles. It's nice to have some shapes that are a little bit more organic. Uh, not just all rectangles, which again, you get more of that here. This would make for a cute little belly band around a card. Okay, and then you've got the back sides, which are for journaling. This is a whole sheet of cut aparts. And I think that's the last sheet. Mm -hmm. So that's the 12 by 12. Beautiful. Along with the 12 by 12, they're releasing it in an 8 by 8. Again, this is 10 double faced sheets. We have the wooden shapes, which I think are beautiful. This is actually, I think, was released on Love Forever collection, but it also coordinates with this collection. We've got decorative chips. So these have sentiments, more sentiments. They have two ephemeras and two die cuts in this collection. So this one has a little bit more detailed. It's got people in it, some birds, and then this one has the luggage and it's more um, like items. There's a piano in there, there's a clock, and then of course there are some uh, florals as well. In addition, there's two sets of die cuts. This one has a little bit of the blue gray in it. It's got the groom in there. And of course it doesn't tell you what, you know, like A, B, so I, I can't really help you out with that. But one of them ends in 89, the other ends in 90. So you get two, two of the femurs, two of the die cuts. There is a card collection, so you get seven cards, five tags, and one bookmark. And here are the elements that come in this card collection. 
And then lastly, this is a washi pad. Um, so instead of just having rolls of tape, which we're, we're all familiar with, these come in these sheets and um, each one of these you can um, cut apart and use as sort of a repositional, repositional, <laughs> you can reposition these stickers. Woo, had a hard time with that. So um, you can add them to your book prior to adding your photos and then you can reposition them as you get closer and add more photos and understand how your layout's working which is kind of nice because a lot of times you'll add those embellishments and then it sort of helps dictate what photo goes in there. This way you still have a lot of flexibility. So again, this is a washi pad. Each one of these sheets is in this package. And that is the Stamperia Romance Forever Collection. This uh, was received today and is now shipping out of our shop at www.scrapandcreate.com. I'll be back in a few minutes to do a reveal for Ciao Bella, and I'll follow that up with a reveal for Graphic 45. Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm here to share with you a brand new reveal from Stamperia. So this collection is a romantic collection. It's called Romance Forever, and in a minute I'll go over all of the um, goodies that comes that um, are available with this, but let's start by just looking at the 12 by 12 paper pad. This is 10 double faced sheets. And I'm gonna hit this real quick because it doesn't seem like it's um, focused quite right. It looks a little too pink to me. 